So this is Scott Williams with Discovery Park of America, and I'm here with some really uh, exciting guests today to talk about um, our Historic Theater Academy program. I've got Zach, who, who leads some of the classes, and I've got Elizabeth and Lydia, who have both been a part of um, the program for a long time. Uh, Lydia, we'll start with you. Why don't you tell me uh, a little bit about how you heard, first heard about HTA and what made you want to get involved? Well, when I first did the performance, we did the Salem Witch Trials, and I knew Ella and her mother, Miss Jenny, was um, running it at the time, so I heard from Ella, and I thought it seemed really interesting, and I love theater, so I asked my parents, and they let me join, and from there, I just, I loved it. How about you, Elizabeth? How did you first hear about it? Well, I didn't join until this semester, so I wasn't, like, I, I had never been in any really, like, plays except for school plays, and Lydia and Ella are both my really close friends, and they told me about it, and I was like, yeah, that sounds really cool, so I joined, and it was a really great experience. And so, Zach, um, tell us a little bit about um, what is HTA, and, and what do, what do uh, young people do when they become a part of it? Well, HTA, the Historical Theater Academy, is basically a class where students basically develop an entire play. They go from the beginning with concept of a story, a historical event, and then they write, create, and then produce, and then ultimately act in a play of their own creation. Um, so it's a very unique experience for students to be able to create something from start to finish and see the fruits of their labor come out of it. What are some of the topics that have been covered since you've been working with them? Uh, since I have um, actually Lydia the, with Lydia, I came in late to Salem Witch Trial, which was my first one. Uh, following that, uh, pardon me, I might get them mixed up in the time period of when we did them, or did them. Um, we did Hamilton and Burr, the famous duel between uh, those two individuals. We did, um, it was a story on American, basically American gangsters with uh, John Dillinger and all the different uh, gangs during the uh, 1920s, and, or the 1920s and 1930s. Um, we did Edison, or Tesla and Edison, and then this last one, we did the history of theater, so history from ancient Greek theater all the way up to modern uh, musicals. Um, Lydia, you've uh, been in a lot of those. Uh, what do you feel like being in, in the Historical Theater Academy has added, added to your life? I would say that it's helped me become a better actor, but also um, expand my group of friends. Before I started the theater, I didn't know any of these people, but now I couldn't imagine ever not knowing them. They've added so much to my life and I really enjoy spending time with them and doing theater with them and it just brings us closer together. So I think that would be one of the really big things that's brought to me. So Elizabeth, this was your first time to do it. Um, are, were you glad you did it? Uh, yeah, it definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone because I never thought I could ever really act and memorize lines and do that. But I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. And it was just really fun to expand what I thought I could do and make friends out of it. Well, and I saw the performance and you did great. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Um, Zach, so if somebody's interested, when is the next um, HTA and what's the topic? Next HCA class one starts uh, August 18th. Um, the topic this year is actually the um, women's suffrage movement in Tennessee. We're, since we're celebrating the, uh, I believe it's the 100 year anniversary of that uh, historical event and the important role that Tennessee played in that. So the students will be writing on um, just what happened during that particular time period. Um, Elizabeth, I know you said that you have to um, be in band, so you're not going to be able to do this next semester, but I think your cat wants to be involved there, so maybe <laughs> maybe your cat could come and be part of it. 
<laughs> well, thank you guys so much for uh, just taking a few minutes and talking to me about HTA. It's one of the one of my favorite things we do here um, at Discovery Park of America. The fine arts contribute in such a huge way to uh, communities, and so I think this is just one of the ways that we inspire um, folks to see beyond. So, thank you guys for participating, and thank you for sharing a little bit about it today. Yeah. Thank you.